What's up, Market Family? A lot of people are talking about Dollar Tree closing 1,000 stores right now, so let's talk about that in this video. The past week, I've been getting a bunch of comments, getting tagged in TikToks and Instagram reels and on news articles about Dollar Tree closing down 1,000 stores. Back in 2015, Dollar Tree bought Family Dollar, and they are choosing to close 970 Family Dollars and only 30 Dollar Trees. And when I say only, it's not 1,000, but it's still 30 Dollar Trees nonetheless. And when Whenever a store closes, I always feel really bad because I know there are people that work at that store and rely on that paycheck. And in lots of cases, these stores are in lower income areas. So when they close these stores, this is leaving a lot of the area in food deserts where they don't have um, the necessary means or places in the area to go and buy food. Because what happens is these stores lots of times close down ma and pa shops and lots of grocery stores choose not to open up in these areas. So with all that being said, Though Dollar Tree is closing $970 stores, 30 of them are Dollar Tree and the 970 other ones are Family Dollars. So a, a big thing is these news articles are starting with these headlines because at the end of the day, out of all the dollar stores, Dollar Tree is the most popular, especially on social media. So they're choosing to start their headlines this way, but that's not the case. It's 970 family dollars. In the articles I've read, it says that 600 stores will be closing in the new fiscal year, and then 370 of them will be closing after their leases are all over. And this will be the case for the 30 Dollar Trees that they're closing. And I don't know the exact reason behind the Dollar Trees closing, but what I've read about Family Dollar is just with the increase in inflation that's going on right now it's hard to charge a dollar or a really low price still on things you have to raise the prices and raising the prices at these stores has caused them to shut down because when people are going to these stores they're mainly buying necessity items that they need right now and not like the little extras with all these price increases at Dollar Tree, I wanna do something. I'm gonna to go to Dollar Tree and my local grocery store and buy the exact same things and see what is cheaper to get at which store. So I'll do maybe like five items at Dollar Tree, maybe five items at my local grocery store and maybe another five at Walmart. Let's see, let's go see how much cheaper it is to buy it at Dollar Tree. Do know not everything's a bad price. So $1.25 for five ramens, you know, like that's not bad. I'm not saying the $1.25 stuff is bad. I'm just gonna compare it to a grocery store that's right beside here, which one's cheaper to buy at. Okay, so I'm gonna get a bag of chips. I'm gonna get a Red Bull and this is $3. I'm gonna get one of these fettuccine alfredos. There's a bunch of different ones, but I know I could find this at the grocery store too. I'm also get a Kraft mac and cheese, just one of the boxes, and then a bag of rice. And this is two pounds of rice. And maybe, okay, I know I need some pasta, so I'll get a box of rotini. This box, and it's 20 ounces. So let's go compare this to the grocery store that's right beside here. For these six items from Dollar Tree, it cost me $10.86. I had to do some math because I did buy some glow sticks and two pens instead of keeping the receipt just with this. So I had to redo it, $10.86. I'm at the grocery store that's by the Dollar Tree. So I'm near the rice. Right here is the cheapest that I could find. It's three for $5. So it's $1.67 for each bag. It's two pounds. So you are saving at Dollar Tree on this one. So we're in the pasta aisle. And in this aisle, I'm not finding anything cheaper than Dollar Tree. So this is the cheapest, two for $3. But the thing is, this is only 16 ounces versus the Dollar Tree, which is 20 ounces. So I'm gonna go with two of these. They both come out to $1.50 each. Here's the Kraft Mac and Cheese, thick and creamy, the exact same one that I got at Dollar Tree. And it's the same price here. So full price, more expensive than Dollar Tree. The Red Bull here, same amount of ounces, 12 ounces. It's two for $5. Full price is $3.49. And then they do have them cold at the front for the exact exact same price. So I cannot find the exact chips that I got of the sweet and chili ones. So I'm gonna get some different ones, but this is the same size though. And these are $2.69 here, which is the price that's on the bag. For the seven items from the grocery store, it cost me $12.99. That price includes tax. Now, if I take away one of the boxes of Rutini, it would have cost me $11.47 with tax. Because I bought two boxes of Rotini, I do have 16 ounces more right over here. I should have just went with one, I wasn't thinking. And then for the frozen dinner, I realized after I purchased them, uh, this one has one ounce more versus this one, which is one ounce less. We're at Walmart and they have these TV dinners for $1.34. Okay, the cheapest rice at Walmart. 
uh, for two pounds is $1.70. Okay, so the Rotini here is $1.08 for the Great Value brand, but it's only 16 ounces. And then the mac and cheese at Walmart is $1.36. Okay, and the Red Bull is $2.00 and 88 cents for the 12 ounce. Chips here are $2 and 69 cents. Now these six items from Walmart cost me $11 and 31 cents and that is tax included. And just like the frozen dinner I got at the grocery store, there's one more ounce of food in here versus the one from Dollar Tree. Again, here are all the prices and how they compare. Even with the two boxes of Rotini, it's only a couple of dollars more than what is available at Dollar Tree and you do get more Rotini. And on top of that, my local grocery store has an app that you can go ahead and clip coupons off of. And I know that Dollar Tree doesn't offer that. And I don't even think Walmart offers that. I do know Target offers that. That comes in handy if you're somebody who doesn't really clip coupons from the newspaper and you don't think of the coupons until you're in the store and you have the app on your phone. And you know, there's still different ways to save money. Like I could have gotten the store brand, um, I think it's called Great Value of the mac and cheese from Walmart and that would have been 54 cents. I could have went to a different store, but this is just comparing these items that for the most part are name brand at three different stores. I hope you guys enjoyed that little trip. I found it quite interesting because it really is crazy that once upon a time Dollar Tree was a dollar, just how significantly cheaper it was to buy at Dollar Tree. Uh, now you're just spending less at Dollar Tree, but it's really not that much less. If you're familiar with my channel, a lot of you guys know I love Dollar Tree. It is my favorite store. Even with these price increases, I choose to shop at Dollar Tree, especially for home decor, seasonal supplies, and craft supplies because a lot of what I do involves Dollar Tree and it is my job, so I continue to keep spending my money there. And I will continue probably for a long time. It's gonna take a while before I'm no longer wanting to shop there. But I am kind of nervous because Dollar Tree now, and this has happened after making my price increase video, they're now bringing $7 items items into the plus section. So before it was every, anywhere from $1.25 to $5. Now we're going up to $7. And then all throughout the store, they're sprinkling in new items with these price increases. So now you can buy Tylenol at Dollar Tree and not just the little single packets for $1.25, but bottles of Tylenol for $3 and $5. And it's mixed all throughout Dollar Tree. It's not just in one Dollar Tree plus section. And that makes it a little bit hard when you're shopping at Dollar Tree. If you're not paying attention to the little prices, you might buy it thinking it's $1.25, get to the register and wonder why it was more expensive or why you ended up paying and not looking back and realizing what you paid for wasn't what you thought you were getting it for, you know? I don't know if any of that makes sense. But with that all being said, Dollar Tree, like I said, they just keep increasing and increasing and it's probably to stay afloat, but I'm afraid that Dollar Tree is gonna turn itself into Family Dollar. And I will tell you guys, Family Dollar, out of all the dollar stores, is low on my list of the dollar stores that I like. After Dollar Tree, it's probably Dollar General, but even Dollar Generals near me are closing down. So. I'm just nervous that Dollar Tree is gonna turn into Family Dollar, and then at that point, like if I'm spending $3, $5 on craft supplies, I'm going to Walmart, I'm going to Hobby Lobby, I'm going to Michaels, I'll choose to shop on Amazon. So that's what I am nervous about because it seems like every month, it's something new with Dollar Tree. I remember buying formula for my son four years ago, thinking it was really expensive back then, but now it's three times more for formula that I've bought for my daughter, and it's even harder to find. So it's just crazy how much things is, slowly, it just keeps increasing and increasing and increasing. So I don't know, like I said, I would still shop at Dollar Tree. I still love Dollar Tree, even if I wasn't buying craft supplies from Dollar Tree, just in general, like the party supplies are amazing. Cards, always get them at Dollar Tree. Gift bags, always get them at Dollar Tree. So much cheaper to buy them there. But um, I guess, like I said, we'll see where the future takes us because it just seems like everything just keeps going up and up. According to this article online, it's saying Dollar Tree is choosing to close so many stores because the company incurred a goodwill impairment charge of $1.07 billion and a trade name intangible asset impairment charge of $950 million. I had to Google what goodwill impairment meant because I didn't know what it means. And basically, it's when a company decides to pay more than book value for the acquisition of an asset and then the value of that asset declines. So I'm assuming that they paid more for family dollar and basically the value of it has declined.
I keep hearing about Dollar Tree having disappointing quarters. So quarter four, the company posted revenue and earnings that missed Wall Street's expectations, running a net loss of $1.7 billion compared to net earnings of $452 million from a year ago. For fiscal 2023, the company lost $998 million versus a profit of $1.6 billion in 2022. I'm just thinking it would suck if Dollar Tree continues down this path and then eventually they're like Family Dollar and any other store. And when you walk inside of there, uh, most of the items are not anywhere near a dollar. So I'm really hoping it doesn't go down that path. Right now, it's still good. Everything or mostly everything is a dollar and 25 cents and you're still going to find really really good deals even in the plus section like a lot of the peeps items they had this year are so much cheaper to buy at dollar tree than they are at walmart if michael's like hands down buying them at dollar tree for the five dollars three dollars such a good deal even like the jumbo eggs here three dollars for a jumbo egg so cheap compared to other stores that's it for the video i forgot to do an outro i hope you guys enjoyed it i will see you next time take care bye